It's a lovely day to learn some music. It's a happy day to have some fun. We'll learn lots all day. That's a music way. So let's start class as a be. Today, uh, Mr. Kanya and I are working on something together to partner up for Read Across America. I know all of you are uh, working really hard at home with school, but we also want to do some celebrations. And this week, we have our Read Across America celebration. We'll be doing different costumes, wearing different styles of hats for certain days or any day you'd like. I also want to introduce to you this new book that we're going to be reading. It is titled Jenny's Hat. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a hat. Once you read Jenny's book, you'll find out a little more. Remember, we'll be reading this together, but you can also read alone. We have Mayon and we have Mac and Via online that you can look for books that you would like to read as well. All books are great and wonderful. We really, really encourage everyone to read as much as you can because reading helps you learn everything else that there is. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy the book. I want to see everyone participating this week with Read Across America. It's good to see you again. Jenny's Hat by Ezra Jack Keats. A new hat, Jenny's favorite aunt, promised to send her one as a present. Jenny waited, she dreamed, and waited. Shutting her eyes, she sighed. <sighs> It'll be big and flowery and, oh, so very beautiful. At last it came. She ran to her room and opened the box. Oh, no! She gasped. It's such a plain hat. Why, dear, I really think it's quite <clears throat> nice. Her mother said kindly. Jenny blinked back her tears and put the hat under her bed. She put on a straw basket to see what sort of hat it would make. Then she drew pictures. Hatch! She sneezed. Bless you, dear, called her mother. And what are you doing? I'm drawing a hatter pillar. <laughs> I mean a caterpillar, answered Jenny. Oh dear, I at her mother. I see. Then she tried on a lampshade and a little flower pot, a TV antenna and a shiny pan, but none of these would do, not really. Jenny noticed that it was three o'clock, time to feed the birds. She ran to the cupboard and filled a paper bag with breadcrumbs and started for the park. The birds expected her, for every Saturday afternoon she went to the very same spot and scattered her crumbs. The birds came, all sorts of birds, fluttering and twittering and cooing. They all knew Jenny, same made out of her hand. Others hopped happily on her head. Soon every last crumb was gone, and away they flew. For a while, Jenny forgot about her new hat. But walking home, Jenny remembered and wished out loud, Oh, I wish my hat were just a little fancier. The next morning, Jenny got up and peeked out the window. What lovely hats she saw! Later, she went to church with her father, mother, and friends. All around her hats appeared like flowers in a garden. As they left the church, Jenny saw some birds, then more and more birds. Were they following her? They fluttered down to her plain hat, carrying red and violet flowers, and leaves, colored eggs, and a paper fan. They added a picture of a swan on a white lake, and some big red and yellow roses. 
and two big green and orange leaves, some more pictures, and some paper flowers. More your flowers, and a pink flying time. Then all the buds scooped down together, flapping and fluttering around Jenny's new hut. Suddenly, they all flew away. On Jenny's hat sat the most beautiful hat. At the very top was a nest of chirping young birds. Jenny felt like chirping too. Happy from head to toe, she felt she was walking on air. People stared in wonder. Behind her flew the birds, watchful and proud. When they all reached the house, the birds twittered and sang, picking up the nests of the little ones, and flew back to the home in the park. Jenny waved goodbye. <laughs> Thank you! She called. Jenny's mother helped her wrap her wonderful hat, piled high with lovely things. Even after the flowers and leaves had dried, it would be saved and looked at for it remembered for a long, long time. The end. Thank you for reading Jenny's Hat by Ezra Jack Keats. May your days be flowery and beautiful as the lovely hat Jenny got from her friends at birth. Farewell. I hope you enjoyed the book, Jenny's Hat. So, today we're gonna have a fun art activity having to do with Jenny's hat. So without further ado, let's go from a top-down view so we can draw together. The things we're gonna need are one, some paper, something to draw on, and two, something to write with, like a pen, a map color, or a marker, maybe even a crayon. So without further ado, let's go to a top-down view and we can draw something together. So in the book, the birds brought Jenny a whole bunch of really cool stuff to put on her hat. So let's go and write down all the stuff that the birds brought. So first, let's see, they fluttered down to her plain hat carrying red and violet flowers. So first they had flowers. So let's put flowers right here so you remember. Flowers and leaves, uh, colored eggs and paper fan. Okay, so let's put that in here. So leaves, eggs, and a paper fan. So let's put the paper fan right there here. Paper fan. Okay, so we have all the stuff written down there. Next, we have, they added a picture of a swan on a quiet lake and some big red and yellow roses. So they added a picture And more flowers. We already have flowers there, so we have to write it again. They added two big green, green and orange leaves, more pictures, and some paper flowers. Well, we already have green leaves, right? We have leaves. We have pictures, so we have a picture, and we have uh, paper flowers. We already have flowers. More real flowers and a pink Valentine. Well, we have more real flowers. We have flowers, so we need to add it to the list of Valentine. So let's write that right here. Valentine. Just like how we had Valentine's Day a couple of uh, weeks ago. See how pretty the Valentine is right there? And then the birds all swooped in down together, flapping their, uh, around Jenny's new hat. And the last thing they put on there was, of course, the nest of the cheeping bird. So let's put there a nest. So, nest. So we have a whole bunch of stuff to put out on our hat. So those are all the cool things we're going to put on our hat. So let's count how many we have. We have flowers, one. We have leaves, two. Eggs, three. Paper, four. Fan, five. Pictures, six. Valentines, seven. And nest. Eight, eight different things, that's a whole bunch of stuff. Can we do it? I think we can. So let's start off by drawing our hat. To draw our hat, it's very easy. All we have to do is draw one straight line. Look, the paper I'm using already has lines on it, so I can just try to follow the line. So I'm gonna put it right here and try to follow it. Like that. Easy, right? And now I'm gonna draw a line down like this. You see how I went inwards? I didn't go down, and I can draw a line this way. Same way going inwards, and then I'm gonna draw, connect these two lines together. 
And if you don't have lines on your paper, you can just try drawing straight lines. You can use uh, something you have, like maybe another piece of paper or an envelope or something to draw a straight line. For example, let's say I have an envelope right here. If I want to, I could use this to draw a straight line like that and draw a line even straighter than before. And then to draw the hat, we're gonna start finding where the middle is. So let's go out here and let's put our fingers together to find the middle. One, two, three. So that's the middle. Put a little mark this way now. And let's move out a little bit. Let's put a mark there and mark there. And we're gonna draw a half circle. So we're gonna go half circle around. So three, two, one. There you go. Simple as that. So now let's draw things from the list. So one, we have flowers. Now how do you draw flowers? To draw a flower, we're gonna start by drawing a very simple one. We're gonna draw a line from, uh, let's, uh, you can add the flower wherever you want to, I'm just gonna add it here on the bottom. So I'm gonna start by drawing a curve like this, like a, like a letter C, all right? And then I'm gonna draw a line that goes out like this, and like that. You see how it looks like, kind of like a capital B? Now I'm gonna draw another line that goes inwards like this, like a heart, and like that. You see? All I'm doing is I'm adding a loop. So I start with the letter C, and then I go to the middle, and I go outwards, and then I go outwards again. And you can even add some more in there. So in between those, I can add more loops. And I can even add more loops on top of that. I can add as many as I want to until I think it's done. Just add a few more, make it even bigger. Very pretty. Now in here, uh, you can uh, just leave it like that and you have a nice flower. Let's draw one, another one, uh, let's say right here. I think that's a cool place. So let's start a nice big curve line, right? Find the middle and then loop it in, loop it out. Then draw a line up and boop, and boop. Now draw some more, add some more loops in there, as many as you want. You can even make it super big and make it look like it's like a corn sticking out, right? And make it look more like that. Make it look like a big old flower. Looks like a weird corn thing, but there's a flower. So we have flowers, right? Leaves, we need leaves. So to draw a leaf, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a place to start. Let's say right here, next to this flower, so we can have something. Let's uh, put it right here. Let's draw a line up, simple, right? And then we're gonna draw a line from here to here, but we're gonna curve it. We're not gonna do a full semicircle. We're gonna make it right here. So let's start by drawing a dot right there and right here. So I'm not gonna actually do this. So instead of going all the way to the middle here, we're gonna have it go to this right here and then curve it in. We're gonna have it go to over here and this is the back of the flower so you don't finish there and you curve it up. Let's do one over here so that way it's not in the way. Let's put it up here. So line up. So choo, choo, add your two dots and make it like a kite and then curve it in this way and curve it in that way. You have a leaf. Now to make it look more like a leaf, you just add a couple of lines this way and a couple of lines that way. You want to, you can add a couple of little mini lines in there that makes it look really leaf-like, life-like. So let's do the same side here. A couple of lines this way, a couple of lines that way. Add a couple of mini lines in there to give it more of a life-like structure. So we have flowers, done. Leaves, done. Eggs. Now eggs, all you have to do is you draw an egg shape. So you draw an egg shape, you just get your uh, pen and instead of drawing a circle like this, you make one side bigger. So you get the bottom part, circle, right? And instead of going all the way around like this, you want to go up a little higher. So just have it go all the way around and curve it. So curve it like that. Kind of like an oval with a bigger side. So let's draw a couple eggs. So I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to have it go through the hat there. And I know there's a line there, but don't worry about it. If you go like this, you can make it look like it's a pattern on the egg. We can continue it and go like that. Ooh, now the egg has a cool pattern on it. And there you go. I just added that, now it has a pattern. Uh, let's add another egg right here. So remember, half a circle. And then we want it to not just be a regular circle, but we want to make it higher. So curve up and then curve in like that. It looks kind of like the leaf, right? Except without a line in it. 
Now let's put a pattern on here. So we're gonna draw, let's do some zigzags on here and copy them on the bottom. Now it looks like a cool decorated egg. So we have eggs. We need pictures. Now the pictures can be of anything. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw a square and it's gonna try to draw it like that. And you can just imagine the squares in the back. So as you can see, I just drew a line, line, and then line, and then draw a more smaller square inside of it. And we can say that the picture's over here. Now you can draw whatever you want, or you can draw whatever. You can draw another egg in there. You can draw some more flowers. Or you can draw a special kind of flower. You just draw a circle, and you draw loops around it. Simple as that. You have a flower. We can even use the same technique to make this flower really big and cover the entire picture, right? Look at that. You just make sure you don't draw the other things. You have a cool flower. So now we have a picture. So uh, we don't need a picture. A paper fan. Oh, look at that. I have two. Never mind. That was the wrong one. So paper fan. How you draw a paper fan? Paper fan is drawn like a triangle. So let's draw a triangle. So let's go in the middle and uh, do this like we're in a triangle. But instead of going straight like that, we're going to make a curve line. You can see drawing has a lot of curved lines, right? And then you just draw lines going up. Two, three, four, five. I drew five. You can do as many as you want. And there's a paper fan. Let's put another one right here. So curve line and inwards. And one, two, three, four. Pretend it's going in there. Paper fans, done. A valentine. A valentine is shaped like a heart. So let's put a heart right here. It's going to be in the back. So let's pretend we have a heart here. So let's pretend this is the end. And this is a loop. So let's just draw a letter M. Lowercase. Right? Letter M. And continue. There you go. There's a heart in the back. And let's do a smaller one inside. There you go. We have a valentine. And then you can put in there something cute like I heart you. Okay, Valentine is done. Last thing we need is a nest. Now a nest, again, we need some more curvy lines. Let's put this one on top because that's where it was. So let's draw a curvy line like this. And let's, instead of doing a straight line across, let's do a wiggly line. So wiggly line like that. Now for the nest, let's put some eggs in there because uh, drawing the bird's kind of hard. So let's put some nest in here. So let's put a uh, couple of these top parts. We don't need the bottom, we're only at the top. So instead of this bottom part, we need the top curvy part. So let's put a couple of dots here so we know where the eggs are gonna be. So swoop it up and down. Swoop it up and down. Swoop it up and down. You want, you can look, put a crack on here like the egg's gonna break open and the bird's gonna come out. And put one on all of them. Put one going up this way and then going on that way. I'll add another one here too. Just put it. The eggs are gonna crack open and birds are gonna come out. Now as you can see there's still some space here and here and here and you can add all sorts of things. So even though we got all the stuff on the list we can still add more things. You want to add an egg? Look. And then you can add a, add a swirliness to this one here. right? You want to add another picture in the back here? You just add another square. And you add your picture of, uh, I don't know, a smiley face. You want to add another leaf. You add a thing like another line. And down, down, curve, curve, and more lines. You want to add some more flowers. Let's add some more flowers. Let's put one right here. So we need a curvy line like that, right? And then out, out, up, out, out, curve, curve it up. Kind of like the eggs on there, right? Or else some more here, there's some space. What should we put in there? Let's say flowers, leaves, eggs, paper fan. Maybe another paper fan here, maybe. Valentine, we have Valentine there. I'll put a paper fan here. So let's put a paper fan right here. So let's have the fan going out like this and then just curve it in and inwards. And just like that, we have a, a, a thing full of, of things, of all sorts of cool things that would make the hat look cool. So let's add some awesome uh, details to this nest by adding some more squiggly lines on here. This makes it look like a real nest. So let's add some squiggly lines going all over the place. Let's go this way first. And then let's go sideways first. You don't have to do this part. I'm just doing it so it can look more like a nest. 
very cool. Now on the bottom, you can uh, you have a cool hat. You have a picture of yourself, you can cut it out and put it there, or you can draw your favorite friend there, or you can draw whoever you want to be on the hat. Me, I'm going to draw a picture of a certain character on this hat. So uh, I'm going to do that right now and see how that turns out. Wish me luck. I never tried this before, but I'm doing it just for you guys. Without further ado, here we go. I'm going to start by drawing a half a circle. I'll start here where these two lines are. So let's do a half a circle here. You don't have to do this. This is just me having fun. I'm going to draw a couple of lines like this. I'm going to make some eyelashes for it. And then two. Add a nice little nose. And add a cute little mouth right there. And add the chin on the bottom. And add the hair going around here. As you can see how easy it is, you just draw a couple of half circles and you got a cute little head there. And you can even write your own book this way, you know? So here's the neck. Let's color the rest is black because she has black hair. And who does that look like to you? That there is Jenny. I drew a picture of Jenny from the book. There's Jenny with her hat on, a whole bunch of cool stuff on there. You can even add some birds in there. I'm not gonna, you know, spend too much time on this, but you know, birds, they fly, wings, have a tail, you know, maybe add a bird on this side too. Couple of birds in there, birds are happy. There you go. And just like that, we have Jenny. And does she look happy there? Well, either way, that's all the time we have for today. So thank you guys for coming to class today. I hope you had a good time drawing with me this awesome, fun picture of Jenny. And remember to do the quiz for the week. And when you're done, to comment the word, done. Right there, comment that as a private comment so I can make sure I see that when you're finished. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.